friend growing up. I didn't have any brothers or sisters, so he was basically like, uh, he was my best friend growing up. Um, I was listening to a piece of classical music the other day, and I realized I didn't know what it was. And I realized in the past I would always have him there, and he could tell me what aria it was, what opera it was from, what year it came out, how it re was received when it came out, and how it's received and thought of today. And um, I'm really sad that I don't have um, his knowledge, just his presence with me anymore. Um, every dinner there'd be an allegory to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, or what the Romans did in 32 BC. And uh, a lot of people tell me that I'm like an encyclopedia and that I know everything, um, or that I'm a Google <laughs> search engine, but I don't know one thousandth or have the passion for history that he did, even though I like it. He was very passionate about it. I think uh, one of our things that we connected most about was uh, our love for tennis, playing tennis, watching tennis, talking about tennis all the time. It was mostly centered around Roger Federer. We both loved him because he was like thought of as the most elegant, um, graceful player. And it turned into uh, from watching the Wimbledon final to watching the US Open final to getting up at 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. to watch the <laughs> tennis in Melbourne or Dubai, going down to the Coachella Valley and in, uh, Indian Wells year after year to watch him and sitting in Nobu and uh, watching him play down below. Um, and I thought it was really fitting that we always talked about how we could never imagine life after Federer retired. <laughs> and then about within a fortnight of his death, um, Better announced he was retiring, mm -hmm. and um, it just shows that in uh, as in tennis, um, life cannot go on forever, but we will always have the memory mm -hmm. of that life. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a little bit lighthearted. Peter and I went to high school together at the Woodside Prior for four years. That was a school that was taught by Hungarian Benedictines who had left Hungary when the Russians came in. They were all PhDs who taught post-doc. We had a biology teacher named Father Leopold who would cry every class. My God, these boys are so stupid. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> they were used to teaching at a much higher level. Now, Peter, when I got to know Peter, I, I, there were two Peters to me. One was the absolutely brilliant historian I went to history competitions where he was competing against PhD students from Yale, Stanford, Berkeley, and he won. The two I went to, he beat them all. Beat the wow. Didn't think anything of it. He was just, he was, he was a genius, in my opinion, mm -hmm. in terms of history. He also had a very boyish side to him. Yeah. And we very much enjoyed each other's